remember the 70-30 rule. And that's 70% of the time that they're talking and then 30% of the time you're talking, right? Because everyone loves a good listener, right? We've got two ears and we've got one mouth for a reason, but no one likes an over talker or somebody who's trying to like brag, right? Car talk, real talk. What up, YouTube? This is Matt Rocket. I hope y'all having a great day wherever y'all are at. How to beat social anxiety. Now, y'all, this is still something that I struggle with till this day. Let's be honest here, man. COVID has really not helped this at all, right? You know, with isolation and mask and social distancing like that, it's made it hard to really have positive social interactions, right? So, Because we, we've lost a lot of that regular day-to-day -day interactions. And as a result of that, you know, it's made people introverted and more and more people are now resorting to online. And while there's a lot of value in online dating, communities, and forums, you still don't want to miss out on all those opportunities in real life to be able to talk and engage with people. In my opinion, 85% of your happiness is going to come from relationships. So in this video, I'm going to give you four tips to how to beat your social anxiety. And whether you're just going to a new school or just joining a new job, these tips will help you out, man. So let's hop right into the video. Number one, you got to put yourself out there, bro. Now guys, all four of these tasks are going to be action oriented tasks because I believe that action is the number one cure for beating anxiety. Okay. Now this is a no brainer, man. Any self-help advice will tell you to go and put yourself out there, man. Punch fear in the face and make yourself presentable, right? I'd recommend y'all do like sports or curriculum activities because birds of a feather flock together whatever y'all are interested in there is someone who is equally if not more interested in that same thing right so just being around like-minded people is going to make you feel naturally more comfortable because that's really all what friends are right it's just people who like and agree on that same similar things right so just don't be afraid to meet and engage with people who already have interest into you right you'll find that it's a lot easier to connect with people but number one you got to put yourself out there dude Number two, look the part. Now, this is a big one right here, right? And the words of the great prime time, you look good, you feel good, you play good. Because when you're well-dressed and you're confident about yourself, you just radiate a certain level of confidence that attracts other people, right? So that's why it's important to look good because people are judgmental. People are shallow and they will judge you on your appearance. Now, I'm not saying you have to be Mr. B Lone, Supreme Hype Beast Gucci down, right? But dude, have some presentable clothes, have good hygiene and look like you take care of yourself, right? Because when you take care of yourself and you show yourself self-respect, that's how other people will treat you, all right? On that same token, what's also important here is that you communicate strong, body language, right? Having good body language because a lot of it is, it's not what you say, it's how you say it and how you portray your body speaks a lot in that, okay? So if you look at people who are like anxious, like a new student arriving into a class, a lot of the times they'll like hutch up and they're like afraid to look at the class because to them the class is like this monster of judgment like oh i look they probably think oh i look stupid or what do they think of me i probably look dumb and they curl up in front of it right so it's very important to be conscious of your body language and how you communicate confidence and body language is through eye contact eye contact smiling but then it's also being open right so like for example when you're approaching a group of men you want to be confident and you want to smile but you also want to talk with your chest and what i mean by talk with your chest is not like oh mr big just get alpha no but what i mean is like hey guys what's up like say it like say it loud like say it loud enough general rule of thumb is say it loud enough for two people to hear rather hey what's up guys i'm matt nice to meet you right be confident smile but that works when it comes to women you want to maintain icons that can say hey what's up i'm matt it's nice to meet you you want to smile you want to not be afraid of like touch just like a little bit like touch and tag and teasing when you're trying to flirt with the girls and stuff like that right on good taste right just communicate good body language you know don't be closed off like this don't have your hands in your pockets and look people in their eyes when they talk to you right but yeah number two is just look the part number three just have some go-to conversation topics now you don't have to be a jerry springer but you just don't know how to shut the fuck up but at least you have to have the ability to be able to find carry a conversation right and some great topics you can talk about man are just sports movies tv shows dogs dreams work whatever those type of topics right so you know hey what's up i'm matt nice to meet you where are you from who do you know here? oh that's super cool right so just knowing a little bit of topics in the back of your head can take off a lot of pressure whatever thoughts of anxiety you have about meeting people too a lot of people have those same anxieties as well right so when you're able to just have a little bit of topics in your back pocket to conduct the conversation, it's going to take a lot of pressure off the need, you know, having everything up on the spot. And you can just let the conversations flow naturally. Like, hey, what's up? I'm Matt. What's your name? Oh, cool. Where are you from, man? You from here? Oh, cool. How'd you get here? Oh, how do you know him? Do you go to the same school together? Like, just having these questions in the back of your head are good for just, you know, taking off that pressure of having to be on the spot, right? But number three is just have some go-to conversations. Last but not least, number four is just let people talk about themselves. And y'all, this is pretty much like, 
like the best insight I can give y'all when it comes to the style of stuff, man, is just let people talk about themselves and you're guaranteed to make friends pretty much anywhere you go, right? Now, how you can do this is just a person's favorite word is their name. Their most interesting thing is their life, right? So in general rules of thumb with conversation, remember the 70-30 rule and that's 70% of the time that they're talking and then 30% of the time you're talking, right? Because everyone loves a good listener, right? We've got two ears and we've got one mouth for a reason, but no one likes an over talker or somebody who's trying to like brag, right? Another important topic too, man, is like, bro, bro, have less of a filter. Like, don't be afraid to say whatever the hell you want to say, bro. Because truth be told, man, any weird topic you talk about, bro, there's always someone who else who agrees, right? And when you have less of a filter, when you're able to just engage in more taboo subjects socially, what this communicates to other people is that like, wow, this guy doesn't really give a shit. And I, I don't know, it brings a sense of comfort and a sense of truth because people can just let their guard down. You know what I'm saying? Just really talk about whatever they want to talk about. So, you know, don't be afraid to have a less of a filter. Talk about whatever interests you, right? But all in good taste, you know, I don't recommend talking about asshole, you know, every party you go to, right? But um, number two is just have less of a filter. But then, dude, just don't be afraid to give people value. What I mean by give people value is just give people genuine compliments, man. Like when I see somebody, a lot of people want to be complimented on their looks, their clothes, or their personality traits, right? And these are something that they hold very dear to them. Like, dude, I fuck with your shoes, but those are nice ass shoes. Like, your people can breathe a sense of relief into like, damn, like, it's acceptance in a sense, right? Like someone recognizes it. So when you do that, people are going to associate you with positive emotions. And the last part, man, is don't be afraid to give a piece, man. Oftentimes when I'm interacting with people with strangers, I'll give up my name first because it's more likely that they'll give their name back to me, right? And I'll share a piece about something that I'm interested in. And it's more likely to open the table and set the floor for stuff that they're interested in, right? So just give a piece, give people value, have less of a filter, and just don't be afraid to talk about them, man. And you'll just find, you'll just have easy, engaging, flowing conversations, and they'll kind of work themselves out. But number four, let people talk about themselves. All right, YouTube. So that's going to do it for me today, man. If y'all like this style of content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And let me know down below if you have any other topics you'd like to hear about, man. I think social anxiety is something that we all have to overconquer. Punching through that wall of fear is such an invigorating feeling that I can't wait for you to experience it, man. But just remember to be yourself, have fun, and look good, feel good, play good, baby. I'm out of here. Deuces.